Welcome to MB YouTube. This time I'm doing the interview, which is a lot more fun for me. And today we're here at the Headwaters, which is kind of cool. It's great to come out here. If you haven't been out here, please come out here and walk around. I'd like to walk around every time I come if I've got time. And so, first of all, let me introduce Lauren. Hi. Lauren speaks French. Oui, je suis pas français. Oh my goodness. Can you say in New Braunfels it's the good life? Uh, in New, dans New Braunfels, c'est la bien vie. Ah. <laughs> That's good, I like that. <laughs> All right, so tell us what you do here. So I am the assistant manager at the Headwaters at the Comal. So I kind of do a little bit of everything. I help plan the educational programs and help organize volunteering and do a little membership and kind of whatever needs to be done around here. All right, and so most folks know, some people are actually working here at MBU when this was an active facility. It still <laughs> kind of is, um, but this was uh, the, basically what is the service center. This, that's what this was until 2004 when we moved out to FM 306 and we still have an active water plant behind us mm -hmm. and there's still a little bit of activity um, but this was a pretty hopping place uh, for a number of years and what are we doing out here now what is the headwaters these days yeah so we're in the middle of what was the parking lot back then and you can see probably a little bit the restoration that's been done here so that was a big push of the project was restoring it um, removing asphalt replanting native trees and grasses to improve the ecosystem of the comal river which starts just on the other side of the tank there hence the headwaters right yes yeah okay yes. all right so i know there's a big activity that just wrapped up not long ago out here and we called it the big dig Mm -hmm. Yes. And so can you talk about what it was and why we did it and what we found? Yeah. Well, when we were doing this restoration work, we ended up making a lot of archaeological finds as we went through construction. And so once this restoration work was completed, it was determined by uh, the Texas Historical Commission and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which is who we worked with, uh, to do a research excavation. So we had archaeologists out here for about six months. Uh, it was a little bit delayed because of all the rain we got this winter. Mm. And they um, they looked for artifacts. They dug up about 90 cubic meters of soil, so tons and tons of dirt all over the property. Wow. And they um, ended up finding about, I think the last count I got was about 40,000 artifacts. 40,000 yes. artifacts. Yeah, and that ranges from kind of the spear points and arrowheads and tools that you imagine finding to uh, prehistoric ovens to uh, animal bones, including um, the bison antiquus, which is an ancient extinct bison that was actually twice as big as the ones you would see in the zoo or out no in the kidding. plains today. Yeah, oh, wow. they were just wandering around New Braunfels and everything that was found is, is prehistoric. So it's between 4,000 and 8,000 years old. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah. Well, yeah. how fun. Okay. Yeah. So um, aside from that, when there's not the big dig going on because mm -hmm. it's over, mm -hmm. we've got phase one complete, but you all are all already really actively involved in programming out here. So can you tell me what that means? I mean, what is the programming that you all offer? Is it for kids? Is it for adults? Who's it for? What do you do? Yeah, it's for everybody. We want the Headwaters to be a place where everybody can come and learn about their environment and the ecosystem in New Braunfels and conservation. So we have a lot of adult classes. Uh, they might be native plant classes or classes about water resources in the area. Uh, classes for people who want to be beekeepers uh, or want to learn more about local wildlife. So we have that that's really adult focused. But then we have a lot of great kids programming. Um, we've been doing a series with the McKenna Children's Museum. They come out once a month and lead a science program for kids and it's been really popular and we've really enjoyed that. So there's something for everybody at the Headwaters. Oh, that's cool. I understand y'all had like how many first graders out here not long ago? Uh, yeah, back in December we had our first field trip. We had about a hundred first graders out here. One hundred first graders. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a big time. Yeah, it was a it was a big day. Yes, it was a busy day. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, let's see. The, okay. So the headwaters. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, we're looking at at phase one. That's basically what yep. was complete. Mm -hmm. So. What's happening next to finish the project and how can employees find out more about what's going on here? Yeah. So we're just about to kick off a capital campaign to 
kind of finish off or complete the project, I would say it's probably only about a third of the way done, maybe half. Uh, we're gonna take the old industrial buildings that were part of that service center and convert them into environmental education center, uh, event space for the community to be able to use. Uh, we're gonna remove the, a, lo a lot more of the asphalt that's on the property and fill that in with more native trees and grasses and also a great event lawn for people to come and gather, demonstration gardens where they can learn about how they can put native plants into place in their in their homes and their properties. So you know, we're really excited about that. It's gonna be a big, big push, but we're looking forward to having it done and completed in the next few years. And then as far as getting employees involved, we love having employees out for programs. So absolutely check out that. Um, you can come out and volunteer if you want to come out and help remove invasive grasses or help with programming. We've already got a couple of employees that volunteer that way. And um, membership is another great way to support the Headwaters as well. Okay, great. Yeah. So a lot of opportunities for employees to come out here and experience it and see it and, and be part of it. Yeah. All right. Well, good. Okay, well, great. I think that's all I have for questions. All so right. Thanks for spending time with thanks me. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> and thank you all for everything that you do. These are busy times, and I appreciate the work that everybody's putting in to make this community as great as it is.